Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing this wonderful, wonderful Saturday more uh after Saturday evening? It's 609. I wanted to jump on here. Uh <clears throat> I hadn't been on here since I gave an update. Uh actually just been a little busy, preoccupied, but uh, just know I'm always thinking about my YouTube family. I'm always thinking about my, uh, YouTube group family. I'm, you guys are always on the forefront of my mind. Okay. And I was thinking, and no, I didn't put on my, my little wig today. You know, just, just me and my, me and my ponytail. <laughs> um, but I was thinking about starting like a segment, uh, that I do once a week uh, called Sli uh, Sis, Your Slip is Showing. And what that is, you know, it's like when you are a Christian woman, like myself, when you are a Christian woman, you know, there are just certain thing things that we can and cannot do. There are just certain behaviors we can and cannot have. But let me say this, you know, even though I am a Christian, I am human. You know, you are human, and my segment is going to be. I'm I'm developing it right right now, but I want it to be where we discuss uh, issues um, for the young, young and old uh, Christian woman, right? And so, what I mean by that is because, like. You know, there are just certain things like, okay, it seems like a Christian is always excluded in, in different, you know, groups or not really excluded, but I'm, I'm sure it's because we want to remain separate. You know what I'm saying? So I want to create a segment where we can all get together and, and those who are not Christian, you can join in because it's going to be, uh, it's just, you know, just women discussing, you know, things, everyday life things, you know, everyday, everyday situations that happen, you know, uh, I want to say, you know, issues, issues in the marriage, issues in at work, issues with the children, issues in your family, you know, issues you're, you're having, um, that you're dealing with internally. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I feel like slip, uh, sis, your slip is showing. When I say that, I say it because I'm saying you are acting and you are acting a certain type of way. That's not, uh, becoming of who you are. Right. So you could be like, you could be hating and there's no need to hate because what one have you can also have, you know, you could be just negative or, or petty Betty or, uh, as my son called it, a fun sponge. And, you know, I mean, I don't know, again, I'm still developing it, but I want you guys to give me some feedback and I just want to meet up once a week and we discuss issues, you know what I'm saying? Like go live and, and all of my, uh, sisters jump in the, you know, chat and we just go at it and talk about life. You know what I'm saying? Life. Because sometimes you run across people who everything you say positive, they have something negative to interject. You know what I'm saying? And to me, that negativity, that's a learned behavior. You know what I'm saying? That's learned. You don't you're not born and, and you're not born negative. That's a learned behavior. You know what I'm saying? And anything that you learn, you can, I feel like you can, you can un, unlearn. If they, you know what I'm saying? Unteach it to yourself. Un, like, make yourself think different. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you've always been in bad relationship and bad relationship and bad relationship, it's something about the type of man, man that you are 
attracting. You know what I'm saying? It's something about each man that's the same. Like if you only date men that are drunks or only date men that are abusive or only date men who don't want to work or only date men who, you know, just... You know, it's something about each man that's the same. Each man can are different, but it's something about them that's the same, and it's attracting you, right? So I just want a platform where we can come together and just go live. I want to be able to add people in and just have a powwow, you know, once a week. And to me, that could be our decompressing time that can be you know hey i've been dealing with this and what do you guys think about that the only thing i will say is this right <laughs> i'm sorry i totally feel like um if you are married and you are having a married issue i feel like um uh, you should talk to someone married. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been married before. So, I mean, yeah, I can lend an opinion because, I mean, I, I, I've had to think uh, about more than just myself. However, I'm not the group expert or whatever. And I just feel like a married person, you know, I mean, if you're just asking, hey, uh, uh, if you're just asking, hey, um, you know, did you cook on a daily basis or, or I don't know. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure it out. I mean, I just feel like certain questions are made to ask a, another married couple because they're going to give you marriage, you know, married woman advice. However, a single woman might tell you, um, I'm not cooking nothing. I mean, he can cook. He got two hands and two, you know what I'm saying? Girl, I wish I would. Girl, he can clean up and he can do it. That's why she's single. You know what I'm saying? You think different when you are married. You think different. So, um, I want to be able for us to all come together married and single, but I'm just saying when you, if you're needing advice, I would prefer, um, when you... If, if a married woman is asking for advice, me personally, I will stand back and let another married woman answer her question. You know what I'm saying? If a single woman is asking a question, I would, you know, I could answer whatever. I just feel like, um, you know, <laughs> to each his own. And it just, I don't know, but I'm, I'm going to call it, like I said, I'm going to call it a uh, sis or slip. Is, is showing and when I say that I mean that in the aspect of you're being you're acting a certain type of way that's not appealing that's not attractive that's not becoming of who you are you know um and to me you you need to put your fangs back in because it's it's not attractive it's not appealing it's not it's just not you know what I'm saying and I just feel like we as women go through different things. We as women, right? I feel like moms and, you know, we, we have so many hats that we wear. We, you know, I am a mom, you know. Um, I was a wife. My husband passed away. And, um, you know, I've, I work. So I've had to work, have a hold down a full-time job. I've had to raise kids. I've had to... Ten, you know, uh, balance out a marriage. So, I mean, I just feel, and you know, there are so many women who can give you so much experience that we can glean from. Like there are young women coming up and I feel like, you know, they should know, Hey, don't, you know, every time you see someone getting married or falling in love, don't start putting this negative stuff into the air because it's not your turn. And then, because sometimes your turn came and you didn't know what to do with it. See, I feel like, I'm, I'm going to tell you now, I'm going to be brutally honest because I feel like sometimes we have passed over the good men because they didn't look a certain type of way. You know what I'm saying? 
but he working. He have a good job and, you know, oh, he's not six foot five and he's not whatever. And, you know, he don't drive this particular car. And you're like, I know I'm like, what? I mean, I understand that you don't want someone that nobody else want. But ladies, let me tell you something. When you start dating the, the ugly ones, the ugly ones have the nerve to cheat too. They cheat. They do everything else that a nice looking man do. And guess what else? If a woman see that you are interested in him, guess what she do? She get interested in him too. Oh, it's, it, it has to be something about him. I see that he's, you know, he's, he's ugly, but she, he got her. I'm just saying this group is going to be bomb. I, when I tell you this group is going to be on fire, I want everybody to be able to let their hair down, pull your wigs off, come as you are. You know what, guys? Maybe I ought to do. What, maybe we should do it on Zoom where everybody can interact. Hmm. I don't know. I'm still thinking. But I want you guys to jump in my comments and let me know what you think. But I'm thinking... Because we can go live. I, I can go live on YouTube. And I could jump in the chats and talk. And other people. I don't know. I'm going to have to see. But I, that that's my new. Um, that was, That's been on my mind for a while. And I thought about actually like writing a little. Um self-help book about it, you know, but for, for some reason, the whole title and everything has been on my mind. Sis, your slip is showing and it, it's not, Oh, you know, pull up your slip. No, it's, it's, it's your ugly ways are showing, you know, to be specific, the ugliness in you is popping out. You need to, you need to correct it. You need to fix it. You need to do what you need to do. Okay. I'm trying to figure out why it, maybe that's just me. I was trying to figure out why this looked brown because I know I didn't put any gel on my hair. I did just perm it, but uh, I don't know, child. It could just be the lighting in here. But yeah, so tell me what you guys think because that could be my Saturday. Um, I don't know. I'm just trying to come up with ideas for my YouTube. Um, uh, my channel. I'm trying to just come up with stuff. I don't know if you guys do that or not, but when I get something on my mind, when I'm when, when something is on my mind, I literally try to pull myself away from from stuff, you know, from people, from whatever, and I try to follow what I'm seeing. You know what I'm saying? I give me a tablet and a pen, and I just start writing down. I you know what how the ideas are coming to me because God, this is your channel. You know. And you want people to organically be drawn to your channel. And one thing about a woman, you have plenty you can say that will would appease another woman. You know what I'm saying? If you are a mom, look at how many moms are out there. If you are a working mom, look how many working moms are out here. You know, if you are married with children, a husband, a job, <laughs> look how many other women are. Or in the same boat. You know what I'm saying? If you are divorced. Look, look at the the uh, amount of women that have been married and divorced. And just if you are having issues. If you can't have children. If you've been in domestic violence. if You know what I'm saying? <laughs> there are just so many avenues to take to grow your channel. There are just so many topics to grow your channels. There are just so many things and people to reach, you know, through your channel. And so if we take the time and develop it, you know what I'm saying? If you take the time and put in the work, you could have a successful channel, right? A, a very successful channel. So again, I am just... All day I've been off and on, um, just, you know, just letting the spirit, the Holy Spirit just lead me and talk to me on different things. And so, uh, with that being said, since your slip is showing, it's going, it's going to happen. 
I, I, I truly want to make that into a segment where we as women come together and, you know, you could be having a problem with another woman on your job and you just want to like, hey, let me just get your opinion on something. You know, you could be having problems with a woman who you feel is inappropriate with, you know, around your husband or your mate. And you're like, you know, how would you handle this situation? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, to me, there's nothing wrong with having sisters as long as, you know, you don't take your sister's advice over God and you don't take your sister's advice and, you know, if it's detrimental to your marriage or your health or something like that. No, it's, it's only advice. And, you know, my motto with advice is you eat what what's going to benefit you and you discard the rest. Do you understand what I'm saying? Or you eat the meat and discard the bones. It's what works for you. Life is what works for you, right? It's hits and misses. No one gave us a a, a, a map to raise kids. No one gave us instructions on anything when it getting married, you know, uh, getting married, falling in love, falling out of love. You know what I'm saying? Like there, are, there is no road map. For us, it's hits and misses. It's hits and misses. Guys feel like, I don't like that. I don't know like how that look. But, anywho, I'm getting sidetracked. But y'all know I do that. But, uh, yeah, I hadn't been on here, so I'm talking to you guys. Because I hadn't been on here in a while. Since I told you guys about the scholarship for my son. And, um, yeah. So, anywho, I just want to jump on here. I want you guys to please jump in my comments. Or those who know how to reach me, you know, you can inbox me, message me. I just want to know what you think about it. Because I feel like that would be great. We could all get together, sit down, get our little popcorn, our notepads, and just have our moment. You know what I'm saying? Because to me, for an example, a young woman that's just going in, going to church, right, when I came up, it was that you know they had all these rules and regulations. It was it was really like kids did not want to go to church, but we were made to go. Right? You couldn't go to the movies. You couldn't wear pants. You couldn't wear makeup. You couldn't wear earrings. You couldn't wear short sleeve shirts. You only had to wear skirts down to you know. I mean, it was crazy, right? It was crazy. It was crazy. And so you like, what? You know, so you can see where someone be like, ain't nothing appealing about that. Ain't nothing appealing. However, that's because we were taught what they were taught. We were taught what they were taught. So as I sit here right now, let me tell you something. Wearing my pants, because I love pants, I prefer pants over a dress, okay, over a skirt. Wearing my pants is not going to take me to hell. Because my soul is going to hell, not this body. You know what I'm saying? My soul is going to heaven. Not not this body, but my soul. So I had to really just get it for myself. So uh, so what this group to me, this new segment would help a lot of younger people, even the older people who just never experienced church, you know, uh, there's, there is an etiquette. Like you do not go to church and wear skirts and dresses way up. You sit down, they can see your panties and you do not wear skirts or pants so tight that they can see your panty print or how much change in your pocket. I mean, there is an etiquette. You know what I'm saying? Just like there is a work code, there is an etiquette to church. You know, uh, I remember back in the day, it, they used to say, take three people if you're going on on a date. Right, and the reason they said that is because you get you get hot and bothered with him. You gonna you might want to go do something. However, if that third person is there, <laughs> there is no getting hot and bothered. You right because all three of us are interacting in conversation, so we're not having an inappropriate conversation. We're having a three people conversation, right? It's just etiquette. You know what I'm saying? So there are things. And to me, I just feel like, yes, I go to the movies. Yes, my kids go to the movies. Um, but I did pray in my house. I made, I, I did say it's time to pray. 
and I, I would, we, we would go in the living room as a family, sometimes in my room, it just depends, and we would pray, you know what I'm saying, like some, yeah, some things is not optional, I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying, because uh, you need to know, hey, in your time of need, you need you need to be able to call on God. And so, yeah, that, but I'm saying, like, it was so much that we were taught because they were taught that way. And I feel, and a lot of people are like, I don't want that. I mean, I don't want to, I ain't taking my kids, and, you know. They don't know. So I just feel like a, um, a group of us getting together and talking and just talking about God and life. And like I said, kids and bills and, you know, just whatever, whatever the topic is for, for the night. And I want to leave it open to where everybody can discuss whatever, you know, and you can just bring it to the table. You can actually bring whatever issues you're having to the table. And at the end of it, we can pray about it. We can agree about it. You know, we can give advice. We can give, you know, just because some, I want to say some of us, you know, um, are like big sisters, you know, to, to people that are just coming in and, you know, sometimes you just have, you have to ask the question and you want, you know, it might seem like it's a stupid question, but to me, there are no stupid questions. There are no stupid questions. What's stupid is when you continue to go as if you understand and you don't. Now, that's what's stupid. But you guys let me know in my comments. And if so, I'm going to start developing whatever. And I, you know, I, I try to kick it off in like two weeks or whatever. Maybe on a Saturday. I don't know. But I, I know, again, I do have the title. I'm just trying to develop um, how I want it to go. Uh, but the title of the segment will be "Sis, Your Slip Is Showing." And again, let me re- let me uh, let me fully enlighten you on what I think, on what I'm telling you. That means if I t- if I come up to you and I was like, "Yeah, your slip your slip is showing," I'm saying you you are acting a certain type of way that's not becoming that that's negative that's you know that's not attractive you know that's demeaning that's ugly towards somebody else you you act you know your negative thoughts and or whatever you know because you have some people they always have something to say about somebody else's relationship they do that's when your slip is showing you shouldn't always have something to say about somebody else's relationship. And then when it's you in trouble, you can't take, oh, you didn't have to say that. Oh, did you say that last week when you told that girl just leave her husband or whatever? You didn't say, you didn't cry and snot and fall out. You point blank stood and told her, girl, I wouldn't take it. I would not take it. I would not. He would have to go. But then now this week is you and she gave you the same advice you gave her. And you, oh, how can she just tell me to leave my husband? How can Oh Don't give what you can't take. That's all I'ma say. If you the type that cannot take constructive criticism and 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 all of, all of that, mom's the word. That's real talk. Mom's the word. Because if you can tell me to leave my husband today and tomorrow, you you in the same situation I'm in. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn that right back on you. Well, girl, you told me to leave, boo boo. So why don't you leave, cuckoo? Don't be so quick, right? Don't be so quick to sop your bread in my gravy. Don't be so quick. Do I need to repeat that? Don't be so quick to sop your bread into my gravy. I'm just saying. So, I think I have talked to you guys enough. 
and I will see you all in my next, next video. So please let me know if you guys are interested in sis, your slip is showing. Let me know and I will get back with you all in my next video. Peace. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Sean's Journey out.